can see we've got some amount of dry product in here. If you get too much pressure in this hose, it could fall right off of here if you push it. So much pressure that it would shoot this hose right off. But uh, we slowly work this out. It's actually much easier. You don't want to give it any restriction. You can see that's all dried up and it's fairly forgiving. Push it through here. You can see how slow this piston is going. Uh, this is a four ounce piston, and we're going to try to do four ml, uh, four and a half ml with it. This is a lip balm. So it could be a little tricky. Um, again, we're going to have to restrict this so it doesn't leak. Uh, hopefully, that's not dried up. That'll shoot off. So of course you're going to want to clamp those things um, normally. This one's empty so it won't shoot off on me. It's hard to do the video and this at the same time. So you can see we're getting extremely accurate fills here. Yeah. Open it up a little bit. Get more of a crest here. That's too fast. Now we got the speed going up too fast again. Or it's actually probably a restriction in the hose because it's cold. So it's causing the product to come out too fast. Okay. And now it's coming back to a normal speed because I'm working out some of the wax that's built up as I put a cold nozzle into the system. Uh, I'm very rarely going to work with something that needs to be kept at uh, 70 degrees, 80 degrees Celsius to fill. And this is about the most challenging thing with particulate and everything else in it. Um, I put too much in there, so I'm going to overfill. Now we're talking about tiny amounts of an ML. Very good consistency. Gonna get some bubbles, I think, at some point here because uh, we're getting uh, down to the bottom of this little vessel of product. Now with this high wax, high melt point, this is almost a melt point of, of beeswax, I mean, close to 70 degrees, you're gonna get a lot of shrinkage. So when you see the shrinkage on these pieces, it's because of uh, the formulation, not because of the uh, 
Well, now we're going to get some air because we're running out of product. But you can see how consistently we can get 4 ml with this 117 ml piston. Um, so here we have this machine set up upside down. Um, it can be set up 180 degrees the other way. So this stand is able to hold it this way. But we can remove the front of this head and turn this 180 degrees so the input's on top. These are tri-clamped inputs, allows you to put anything you want on it. So here you can put um, a hopper at the top if you wanted to. Um, but I find this to be a much easier method to keep it suction this way and then eventually hook it up to a tank or whatever else. So, you know, this is what we're filling. It's very, very uh, hard wax. It's not a soft wax at all. And um, you can see how well it's done. Now, to clean it, again, we would want to take out, um, turn all this on. We have to keep a mixer in here because we have the particulate in the product, and there's no use uh, putting it sink to the bottom. So we have this electronic thermostat in here, uh, which we can attach to the stove, which I did not attach to the stove, uh, which caused some of my problems. Um, so we don't want any restriction when we're doing this part because any wax uh, getting solidified in, in the hose, uh, you don't want to be having any restriction here. If it's not coming out, take the hose off and soak it because you don't want this to get so much pressure that it pops off and shoots hot wax everywhere, which it will. So this one is, is um, stuck now, so we won't push it. Uh, we'll have to melt this out. We just take it out, put it on here and, and into a hot oil and uh, melt it. Um, so can we try? Yeah, I'll just be getting it off. Push. to get some uh, I'm gonna speed it up a bit. So here you see and we're getting that leak I was talking about because this is completely jammed up. So it can't make its way out here, so it's finding the next easiest place, and that's around that rotary valve. So in this case, we have no choice but to take this guy off. And then we can always take all everything off, and the whole head comes off very easily, and um, can be soaked and heated. Put, just put on a new hose here and try to uh, drain it which would save you a lot of hassle because you can uh, take out a lot of the uh, wax that's going to be sitting in the machine. I'm just going to try to redirect this here. So it had only been stuck in that small hose because of the small diameter. Now it has no problem, there's no more leaking coming out of here. Um, this is all hot, obviously, because this is all so much stainless steel in here, so it's held to heat enough to, to drop it through. But you can see it's actually shooting out chunks of solid wax in there. This is starting to solidify. Unfortunately, this oil itself is not that hot anymore. But um, just this much more make it easier for cleaning out. Uh, 
the valves and all this piece in here, which is a, the 10 minute job uh, max.